In the world of NFL, some teams aren't just teams. They're eras of dominance, a force of nature that sweeps the league off its feet. From the iconic Green Bay Packers of the 60s, led by the legendary Vince Lombardi, to the New England Patriots' relentless two-decade reign with the dynamic duo of Belichick and Brady, we're about to explore the dynasties that's etched its name in the history of NFL. So, buckle up as we take you on a journey through the top NFL dynasties of all time, where legacies were forged and legends were made. But before we begin, we would like you guys to subscribe to the channel, like this video, and hit the notification bell icon so you do not miss out on amazing and entertaining content. In a mere three years, the dynamic duo of Jimmy Johnson and Jerry Jones transformed the Dallas Cowboys. They took a struggling 1-15 team and molded them into Super Bowl champions. But how exactly did they pull off this remarkable feat? Well, it involved some bold moves, strategic drafting, and a newfound emphasis on speed. And let's not forget about Johnson's audacious trade move, known as the Great Train Robbery, where he traded running back Herschel Walker to the Vikings, raking in three future first round picks and three future second round picks. These picks would prove to be the foundation of the Cowboys' resurgence, bringing in legendary players like Emmitt Smith, Darren Woodson, Russell Maryland, and Kevin Smith. The turning point came when Johnson was crowned Coach of the Year in 1990, even though the Cowboys had posted a 7-9 record. The following year, they made it to the divisional round of the playoffs. However, it was in 1992 that they truly shone, setting a franchise record with an impressive 13 regular season victories. Their success was fueled by a top-rated defense and the exceptional talents of Smith, quarterback Troy Aikman, and receiver Michael Irvin. The pinnacle of their achievement was defeating the formidable 49ers in the NFC title game and then dominating the Bills in Super Bowl XXVII with a resounding 35-point victory. The Cowboys followed up with another Super Bowl triumph in 1993 before Johnson's surprising departure, leaving fans in shock. With Barry Switzer taking the helm as head coach, the Cowboys continued their winning streak. In Super Bowl XXX, they defeated the Steelers, making history as the first team to clinch three Super Bowl titles in a span of just four years. At the zenith of their dominance, the 1990s Cowboys stood shoulder to shoulder with the greatest teams in NFL history. Yet, Johnson's abrupt exit marked the beginning of the end for this NFL dynasty. The Cowboys, once a powerhouse, quickly declined, posting a lackluster 6-10 record just two years after their Super Bowl XXX victory. Their playoff drought extended until 2009, signaling the premature conclusion of what could have been one of the NFL's most enduring dynasties. Carmen Policy, a former executive of the 49ers, often referred the team's era of dominance to the Camelot. It's not a far-fetched comparison considering the enchanting run that the 49ers embarked upon, culminating in them being the first franchise to secure five Vince Lombardi trophies. This journey was orchestrated by the ingenious Bill Walsh and his revolutionary West Coast offense, propelling the 49ers to Super Bowl victories in 16, 19, and 23. Then came 1989, under the guidance of first-year head coach George Seifert, when the 49ers executed a Super Bowl demolition of the Broncos in 24. The 90s began with the tantalizing prospect of a third consecutive Super Bowl win, but it was elusive, slipping through their grasp by a mere field goal. Nonetheless, the 49ers did not falter. Instead, they clinched their fifth title as Steve Young masterfully led them to a resounding victory over the Chargers in Super Bowl XXIX. Young, the successor of the legendary Joe Montana, carved his own legacy, following in the footsteps of a quarterback who boasted a flawless 4-0 Super Bowl record, and the distinction of being the first player to win three Super Bowl MVP awards. Despite Walsh's revolutionary offensive scheme, the 49ers dynasty doesn't quite resonate in history as the Packers or Steelers. They endured setbacks, including a shocking playoff loss to the Vikings in 1987, which almost cost Walsh his job. Two agonizing playoff defeats to Bill Parcells' Giants followed, and Seifert's 49ers faced consecutive NFC title game losses to the Cowboys before finally breaking through in 1994. For nearly four decades, the Pittsburgh Steelers were stuck in a rut of disappointment. But then, during the 1970s, they ascended to remarkable heights, reshaping the landscape of NFL. It was a team of President Dan Rooney, head coach Chuck Knoll, and a sharp scouting department led by the recently inducted Hall of Famer Bill Nunn that orchestrated a formation assembling what many consider to be the most exceptional roster in the history of the sport. 
In Chuck Knoll's initial four drafts, the Steelers made astute choices, handpicking five future Hall of Famers and 15 starters for the ages. The roll call included luminaries like Joe Green, Terry Bradshaw, Mel Blount, L.C. Greenwood, Dwight White, Ernie Holmes, Jerry Mullins, Larry Brown, and Jack Ham. However, it was the pivotal selection of running back Franco Harris in 1972 that set the stage for their resurgence, forever etched in history by Harris's immaculate reception. While Harris was a catalyst, it was the influx of talent from the 1974 rookie class that catapulted the Steelers to greatness. Between 1974 and 1979, the Steelers blazed a trail with an astonishing 80-22-1 record, clinching six division titles and becoming the first team to capture four Super Bowl victories. They stand alone as the only squad to secure back-to-back -back Super Bowl wins not once, but twice, achieving four championships in just six years. In an era that featured formidable rivals like Don Shula's Dolphins, Tom Landry's Cowboys, and John Madden's Raiders, the Steelers established a reign of dominance. Their success not only turned Pittsburgh into a football mecca, but also played a pivotal role in elevating the NFL to national prominence, supplanting baseball as America's preeminent pastime. You know that iconic Lombardi trophy they award to the Super Bowl champions every year? Well, there's a pretty remarkable story behind it. It's named after Vince Lombardi, the head coach who steered the Green Bay Packers through their dynasty years, which actually began before the Super Bowl era kicked off. Before Lombardi's arrival, the Green Bay team had been stuck in a cycle of mediocrity for 14 long seasons. But under his guidance for nine years, things took a dramatic turn. Between 1960 and 1967, Lombardi's Packers found themselves in the NFL title game a staggering six times, with their only loss happening in 1960 against the Eagles. After winning back-to-back -back titles in 1961 and 1962, they achieved a remarkable feat, becoming the second NFL team to secure three consecutive titles, which included the first two Super Bowl victories. To this day, no team has equaled that three-peat. One key to Lombardi's success was his strong ties to college football. These connections allowed him to build one of the greatest teams in pro football history. He was also a pioneer in his willingness to draft black players in the first round, a groundbreaking move at that time. This bold approach helped him assemble a team that clinched an impressive five titles in just seven years, while also blazing a trail for diversity in the sport. It's worth noting that the Packers' impressive run occurred during a different era of the NFL. They played in a 12-team league, and during their initial two championship runs, they only had to face one postseason game, the NFL Championship game. The AFL didn't pose a challenge until the first two Super Bowls, where the Packers convincingly defeated the Chiefs and the Raiders by a combined score of 68-24. to The NFL has seen its fair share of dynasties, but one reign stands above them all, the New England Patriots. For an astonishing 18 consecutive seasons, they reigned as top contenders, making them the undisputed kings of the sport. It all started when Brady, a humble sixth round pick, and Belichick, a coach with a modest 35-44 and 44 record from his days with the Cleveland Browns, joined forces. And the rest, as they say, is history. No dynasty in NFL history can quite match the remarkable feat achieved by the New England Patriots during the first two decades of the millennium. Under the leadership of Bill Belichick, they clinched six Super Bowl titles, an astounding nine AFC championships, and a staggering 17 division titles. Their crowning achievement was the unbeaten 16-0 regular season in 2007. The Patriots dynasty was punctuated by two distinct periods of dominance. First, they secured three Super Bowls in just four years from 2001 to 2004. Then, after a decade, that included two heart-wrenching losses to Eli Manning's Giants. They rebounded with three more Super Bowl wins in a five-year span from 2014 to 2018. Throughout this reign, the constants were Belichick and the incredible Tom Brady, who earned MVP honors in four of his six Super Bowl victories in New England. However, as they say, all great things must eventually come to an end. The dynasty concluded when Tom Brady left the team. But during his tenure, he led New England to an unprecedented nine Super Bowl appearances, clinching six victories and solidifying his status as the greatest quarterback of all time. In the process, the Patriots ascended to the pinnacle of NFL dynasties, leaving an indelible mark on the history of the sport. There you have it the legendary NFL dynasties that have left an indelible mark on the game we all love. 
Are there any dynasties that we missed but deserve a shout out? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more football insights, and stay tuned for our next deep dive into the world of sports.